you got to know the architecture of your spiritual work. Because I see people, this is just a simple diagram of, of how you start looking at the three parts of yourself. And those things, those three parts, body, spirit, soul, correspond to consciousness, body, subconscious, spirit, unconscious, soul. This is simple shit. In mythology, Osiris is killed and sent in the underworld, the subconscious mind. The realm of Osiris is your subconscious mind. The consciousness that makes you want to read books, study this shit, that have you here today for, we're at, what are we at? Uh, three hours and 21 minutes, to have you here for that long and you stay with it, that's the Haru in you, the redeemer of the father, the subconscious. So when you're doing spiritual work, your consciousness is, is trying to redeem the father fighting your humanity, Set. So Set and Horus, is the angel and the devil on your shoulder saying, ah, panic's talking a good one, but I don't know if I could do that. That's set talking. Nah, maybe this shit is this and that. Ah, hotep niggas. Maybe I look stupid. Shit, one, one second, guys. Again, you got to look at this model and understand that's how you get to work it. You're working different areas. When you read books, you're working the front. But see, the front is the player hater, that's set. So if you learn enough book knowledge, you shut set up. So when Horace now tries to do the spiritual work to get into the subconscious to redeem the father, to be the realm that's of Osiris, that's you understand that's what I'm saying? Set really can't say nothing or interrupt the process because you read the scholarship. When you don't read books and you listen to YouTube niggas, and you try to do, attempt something spiritual, you always have the naysayer fighting you back. You ain't really doing it, nigga. You don't really know. This ain't really going to work. This ain't, nigga, what do you, you look stupid lighting this up. Oh, you're going to smoke that now, nigga. How is that going to work for you? It's just herbs. That happens. But if you satisfy this guy, he doesn't have nothing to say. It's called giving the baby his bottle. The same thing with when you see nice clothes and you go, but I'm conscious and I, I can't. No, yes, you can. You don't have to wear them dashiki. Nick, when, when, in fact, that was a big deal. When I started teaching and didn't wear all them fucking hats and all them hotep shirts and all them African-American African ass shirts and was wearing hip hop shit, that was the big deal. Because people were saying to me, yo, you could be conscious without, they wanted to be conscious, but they didn't want to wear all that crap. So now it's normal. Before that wasn't normal. Everyone before you was wearing some old, hey, I bought that more that you had, yeah, say, way I will type of outfit. So when I was coming with hip hop shit, it was radical back then. Now, y'all, first of all, the, the general, once the debate started, the general public got into this shit. So the, the level, first of all, it was hard for people who really wanted this to understand these things. They were breaking out of years of mind control, years of conditioning into their humanity. Every movie you see is about saving human life. And then you hear you, and then the bad guy was always an occultist. So when you hear me talking occult, subconsciously, you've seen a thousand movies where the bad guy is talking when I'm talking. So you're programmed to see me as the bad guy. I'm bringing you absolute light by every standard in every book I brought. I am actually a light bringer, a light worker. You go into darkness to get light. So when you see the dark symbols, that's because I actually went into the darkness, the subconscious, to bring it into the light. And I could speak it in a scholarly way. This is and why people fuck me. Like I told you about Chris Rock, when we know him because he's just spitting like this 
because he knows it. Y'all know I know it because I spit it like this. You don't hear me. Um, 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 let me look that up real quick. Oh, yeah, okay. That means I don't know it. And I know more than one subject in this area because you have to be a jack of all trades and a master of none. So you got people who became masters in a certain area and that information on YouTube caught up with what they caught up with and people got disinterested and they have nothing in their evolution. Bobby Hammond told me a long time ago, he said, if this shit keeps going, the last thing standing will be a cult because it's really the thing people ain't getting into and it's the last domain to work with because you're working direct. There's nothing else left but you, but you and what you say. And that's a big step. You want to have that support, like you're feeling just sitting amongst us. So if you, because you're not confident and you fuck up, you can always rely on what a thousand other niggas is writing in the comments to keep you in check or guided. But the reality is you have to man up or woman up and, and say, this is where I'm at. And fuck it, I'm going to believe what I study. And I'm going to have confidence in me. And when I say it, I'm going to say it. I'm not going to have to rely on if black people say it's okay or who, what other black people is doing. Panic, what, what's a book you recommend on fish sticks? Nigga, I don't eat fish sticks, but you do. Find a fucking book, nigga. You don't need to know the fish sticks I like or don't like. What's the fucking fish sticks you like? Oh, fish stick ass nigga. 